Hey there, this is Catherine. I am sharing a card I made for the My Favorite Things sketch this week. Um, I'm going to start this. Um, I have a picture of it on my blog post, but it has a, at the bottom, the sketch has a kind of some hills. It could be snowy hills. It could be grass, that kind of thing at the bottom. So I have decided to try out my waffle flower um, stencil that has trees on it. So I'm going to start with a piece of Bristol cardstock that I've trimmed down and I'm using um, some distress inks. I'm going to do three sort of different hills and I'm just going to move it um, from one side to the next. You can see the stencil is a little funny shaped. It has the pieces that came off. Um, that's why there's this uh, hill left on each side. They're off camera, but then you could use them to mask um, as well. So I'm using this as the stencil part and I'm going to go with a darker color here. I'm taking care not to get into that tree and get all over my um, paper. You could mask that off with a uh, sticky note or something like that to keep, make sure you don't um, get into the white part of the card. I did leave a little bit of white. I didn't go too heavy between the colors because I wanted a little bit of that contrast. I'm going to go back to my light distress ink here. I'm going to move that up just a little bit more and um, start with the, I think it's Twisted Citron is this lighter green. It's one of my favorite colors from Distress, but it blends really well on this Bristol cardstock. I've got, it's got a smooth finish and it just allows you to um, move quickly but you can still play with the ink some. I find that just regular cardstock sometimes it doesn't blend quite as well and it just sucks right in there. So I've made the investment into Bristol cardstock and I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, so that is it on the kind of hills at the bottom and then I'm going to put a tree in a minute but before I do that I'm going to do a little bit more ink blending with some tumbled glass in the center of my card stock and I'm just gonna go all around I'm not I'm making it a little darker in the middle and then I'm just kind of letting it go fading out to the sides uh, just to kind of make it look like the sky a sky scene and so I'm just keeping it very um, loose and light and not worrying about it too much uh, being totally detailed now right here I got lucky I dropped my ink onto my um, paper. I was dropping a lot of stuff today. These little ink cubes are fun, but they can be a little bit much to hold. But anyway, I was able to kind of smooth that out because that Bristol just blends so well. So I was able to avoid uh, an issue with that. So now I'm going to stamp that tree I referenced. This is a My Favorite Things um, stamp set. Wonderful Woods, I think is the name. It'll be linked in there. I got this last fall, I would say. It's a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed this um, stamp set. So I'm going to stamp a tree with this caramel ink from Hero Arts that I had in my stash. And then there, for this particular tree, there is a layer of leaves. And I am going to line that up. It's pretty easy to line up, especially after you've stamped it. You can see it pretty well. And then I'm going to choose which green I want to use. These are also from Hero Arts uh, that I had in my stash. And I'm going to go with the field greens for the leaves on this. I'm going to stamp it twice to get a really nice, um, a little bit darker impression. And then I've got my tree finished. So that's pretty much the scene I'm, I'm setting. And then I have one more step of stamping on this. Um, I've got a tailored expressions strips stamp and it has foam. It's a traditional rubber stamp. And so I had to take the little platform out in my stamparatus. This is from Stamping Up, the, one of the stamping tools I use. And it just allows you to use either foam or clear state stamps. I do still have a few um, clean red stamps. I have several from Hero Arts that I love, the background stamps. They're some of my favorites. And so when I use that, I just have to take that out. So that's why I was taking it out. But anyway, um, 
so you'll see that there's this die that you can purchase for this sentiment strip and you fit your um, it fits over that stamped image and you'll see you're going to get a bunch of sentiments all at once this one is about Easter and spring and I'm just going to pop those out you can see my diamond press folder has been well loved and is curling but works just fine so I will keep on using that until um, I can't and then you'll see I've got all these sentiments with one pass that have just dropped out of my die cut and I've kept two aside that I'm going to use for um, this card then I also have a few of these eggs from the Stampin' Up! set. I think it's called Back Basket Bunches. It's retired, uh, but I found it in my stash this spring, and I've been using it quite a bit. And um, so I stamped and die cut some eggs that I'm going to use. I thought the scale of them worked great for the size card. So I'm gluing this onto a piece of light purple cardstock. And then my card base is going to be a deeper kind of ocean blue. And, um, and then I have a few images from LDRS Creative. I believe these are called Happy Day. And I'm pretty sure I purchased this from HSN. It was a bundle that they had a while ago. I've just gotten around to using it. But they are so cute, these little small um, images. I love them. Uh, they're such a great size for creating a card. So I've got those two popped up. I've got my little Easter basket that my friend has. And then we're going to place some eggs around the tree. And I'm going to finish this card off by putting the sentiment that I, we cut earlier, the strips, up at the top. But then I remembered I had this cloud die that I got um, that I wanted to try out. So I cut these four um, clouds out. I'm going to use three of them. I'm just kind of figuring out which way that one goes. They're kind of cool shapes. You might be able to stack them. I'm not sure. Um, but I love that they're kind of, that one particularly is long and skinny. So I'm going to put my strips down first so I know where I can add my um, clouds. And then, so you are exceptional and happy Easter. And I just use pink because I had some pink in some of those eggs to pull that color out. So I've got these clouds now that I'm going to glue down with my liquid adhesive and I'm trying to decide if I want that one uh, which direction and then I decided that I liked the way that I put it down originally. So back it went. I've got this last cloud that is going to be at the top and I have some Nouveau Shimmer in a pen. It's, it's you, you can't see it on the screen, I'm sorry to say. You can see it's wet, but you can't see any of the shimmer. But there'll be a nice little finish on those clouds. And that is it on that sketch. So, um, again, that sketch is from My Favorite Things. And um, I'll be sure and link all the different products. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you liked it. And like and share. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks so much.